shaking traffic on the highway as we go around the outside at Blanchemont. Look at the overspeed! <laughs> What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a very exciting video because I'm racing in what is kind of like a futuristic open wheel car with a V10 powered engine. I've always wondered what it would be like if F1 went back to V10 and uh, carried on with uh, their futuristic designs and this is basically that uh, with uh, the Global Racing Series V10 R League which is a category in esports uh, series which I am a commentator on with Nicholas Hamilton and uh, it's it's sick. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's uh, I think it's on BT Sport and it's on like ESPN in America. It's a crazy huge deal and uh, yeah, I can finally talk about it and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys check out the, so the show, the series. But in today's video, I'm going to be driving the car that they use, the esports drivers, in this competition. And I've only done a handful of laps at uh, Brands Hatch, and it wasn't on my home setup. It was uh, a completely different beast. It was crazy. And I'm going to see what it's like on my own com comfortable setup on a track that I know, the Italian Grand Prix. So, we're going to go out for some practice, and we're going to see exactly what this thing handles like. Um, I believe this is... Kind of like a concept to what like a, a 2025-ish regulation car will kind of look like, um, aesthetics-wise, just with a V10 in it, basically. So, um, it's pretty fast. I'm going to put my big boy gloves on, because if I don't, I won't be able to hold onto the wheel, and we'll get out there. Alright, let's, uh, let's hear this baby purr, shall we? It's revving out to 18,000 RPM. We're going to go out there now, and we are going to set some laps in this absolute beast. Kit limiter is on, and we are underway. Oh my goodness. Let's get back into cockpit cam. Got cars coming onto the fast lane, into turn one, the first chicane. And, uh, yeah, this thing's an absolute animal. As you can see, arrow screen. Very, very loud V10. <laughs> Absolutely screams. And the downshifts are amazing too. I'm just getting a feel of it. What it's like. How much downforce it's got. I know that this engine has 900 horsepower. About 360-ish torque, at least according to a Sato Corsa, so, so there you go. Uh, basically, you will be able to drive this car and download it uh, in the future. But that uh, is not possible at this current time. It will be available to the public later, and I'll probably share it on social media as well um, when that becomes available. But this thing is an absolute monster. This is a naturally aspirated V10. No hybrid technology, no turbo, um, so no ERS, no DRS, just uh, flat out, go, go as hard as you like racing, uh, essentially, and in the, uh, the V10 R League, you're going to see lots of uh, drivers going for it at this track, specifically. This is actually the first track we go to on the calendar, which is crazy. If you want to know more about the V10 R League, I'll leave uh, links down in the description. So you can check out their YouTube channel, tw um, Twitter and Instagram and stuff where you can see more stuff about the cars, about the series, about me. There's a few like F1 Esports drivers getting involved. It's, it's pretty darn crazy. But uh, anyway, I'm going to finish off this lap and see what we can muster in practice. And then we're going to go to a race with 25 other cars sharing the racetrack. This is amazing. Oh, I'll chuck it in. Oh, and we've lost it. And we're in the bin. So, it would... <laughs> it would have been nice to get a representative lap in to see what the actual pace was. But... Yeah! 
Nice. Just got completely re-rendered there. Let's check the replay. That was nasty. So here we go. He comes to spin, chucking it in too fast in fifth gear. Lose the back end. And then we rejoin on the circuit very slowly. And then whatever AI is coming through just doesn't avoid at all. Yeet. Thankfully, damage is off. All right, so here we are for the race as we focus in on my car. Number 44, which is uh, interesting. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to do a race here in Monza and we're going to see just what it is like to tame a V10 beast. Look at those tires. They're huge. One thing I love about this car is just the profile. It looks incredible, uh, especially that rear wing when you're tucked in behind... The, another car. You'll see that over the course of this video, I hope. At least I hope I can overtake some people. One thing I don't really do is play around with setup. What tires have we got? Oh, I'm going to go soft. And fuel, I'm going to take out a lot. Because I don't think I need too much in before I run out of fuel. <laughs> uh, which is very common in my videos. But regardless, I think we should be okay. Right, here we go. Italian Grand Prix here in Monza, V10 F1 cars, and uh, we are going to have some fun around this place. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into what might be one of my best videos of the entire year. Let's get ready to six red lights. It is so damn loud, I can't have two earphones in my ear at the same time. I need to be able to hear myself think. Off we go! He's okay. He's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I turned down the AI for this one because in, in practice I was getting absolutely spanked by the AI. I did a 27 and now we're doing like 23s. Uh, of course I could have bettered that lap but I want to be able to talk and give you guys my reaction to this while also moving through the field. We don't want to be running around in last place the whole time. So let's see if we can go about climbing our way through the orders. We head into a second chicane. A lot of red cars in this one, so we've got to feel the Ferraris versus one lightly blue colored car. What team are we? Who the hell bloody knows? But yeah, in the V10 R League, there's a lot of uh, prestigious teams uh, in, in the competition. Red Bull Racing Esports, Racing Point, Williams. Um, John Lacey, Suzuki, Yas Heat, um, Porsche 24 Redline, the list goes on. A lot of big manufacturers involved, a lot of big esports teams, and it's, uh, it's a good competition. Monza is a brilliant place to take these cars, because the slipstream you get off of the preceding car is crazy. Like, look at that massive rear wing that they've got. It just throws off. It just It's so draggy. It means you can slip string so much. You don't even need... Don't even need DRS. Let's see if we can get back... <laughs> to uh, full speed if we can. We might be okay. I'm going to press on. Turn one. It's hard to spot the braking zone here. But these things are so capable under brakes. And I'm still not... I could definitely go in deeper. That's the gist that I'm getting from this car. Then we all spin there in first gear. I'm running with no assists for the most part. I am running like auto blip of the throttle. Um, which I don't even think is, a, is something you need in this car because you, you don't need to blip on downshifts in a car like this. Oh no! My cover is gone too! It's all gone! <laughs> That's the force. That's the force that's going through my wheel right now. It's just like... We're just sit we're like rolling on the grass. We're rolling along on the grass, and uh, it's jittering my wheel like crazy. So you can imagine what happened when I went spinning. It just it threw the camera off, which I don't have a, a stand for, by the way. It's just it sits nicely on top of my monitor. Really need to sort that out. And we're getting lapped. Nice. Okay, let's restart because that was a disaster. We, I think we killed a person. So, that needs to be avoided this time around. 
Right, here we go. I think in this one I might talk a little bit less so you guys can hear the dynamics of the gameplay without my silly old voice interrupting it. Six red lights and we are off for V10 Racing here in Monza and we're just going to storm right past these guys. Time one, very uh, cautious, but uh, as soon as we get out of the first chicane, we're able to race pretty much as normal. The Assetto Corsa AI are a little bit weird, especially when you turn them down as much as I have. I think I'm running like 85, 88 difficulty. Come on, uh, squeezing through, we've just about made that. Very close now as we run into the second sector chicane. You've got to downshift very slowly in this car. That's something I learned very early on in my laps that I did at Brands Hatch. I literally did about five laps and I was struggling to, uh, to keep the car on the track. I was running with a different wheel. I think I was using like Logitech gear. So I'm not familiar with that. But I'm on my home setup and I'm still... You do need to treat this car with a lot of respect. Again! <laughs> This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, that makes me nervous. We're through. I'm gonna roll with this camera for uh, this um, this view for a little bit, so you guys can uh, see the racing a little bit better. And we are through now for P14 in this race. Thought someone was off at the left-hand side there, but we are fine. What other camera angles do we have? Nose cam, that, cockpit, T cam, oh, not T cam, chase cam. Far chase, sorry, sorry, sorry. See, this is what happens when I'm an idiot. I just do silly things side by side. I'm gonna race in chase cam for one more corner. Late under brakes, back end, getting a bit lively there. But we're fine. It's so weird. It is so weird to race in chase cam on a wheel. So let's never do that again. It's Lesmo 1 and Lesmo 2. Just to make comparisons with how it feels compared to like F1 2020. The acceleration feels the same. Braking, I might be able to... Break just as late, maybe slightly later than the F1 game, which is crazy. Because the F1 game you can break pretty darn late as it is. Uh, but then the cornering, I feel like this car has a little bit more understeer, like less downforce than say what the current cars have. But that is uh, natural, I suppose, because the next generation F1 car or open wheel cars are going to have less downforce. They're going to be more about ground effects and being able to race closer together. But at least the Monza, the lap times aren't too far off. Late under brakes. Around the outside at the first chicane. Thank you very much. You've got to be so delicate with this car at low speed. You've got to downshift slowly because the rear end will um, kick out and you'll spin. But then on power as well. This car has so much torque, so much power. And you've got to be quite smooth with the accelerator as well. Into the middle sector she came. This car sounds fantastic. You already knew that though. Come on, slipstream. See if we can get this guy. It could be a move on for both of us. Or not. Come on, come on, you silly AI. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We're going to steam past into P11. Let's see if we can get like top five in this race. They put the hammer down. Lewis Hamilton style at Monza. We might be able to do it. We need to make up a lot of time in clear air. Um, if the AI race anything like that, then they'll be losing bundles of time up here over the next two laps. And we've caught up to the pack. Let's see if we can make an impact! Not that kind of impact! Oh, for God's sake. 
I really need to get a... <laughs> a tripod. One like equals one cent towards the tripod fund. One thing that's easy to do in these cars is to overheat the tires. Um, that's something that a lot of the drivers in the eSports series are doing their best to minimize because once they do overheat they, they can become yeah quite hard to, to handle. And with all my spins it's a miracle that I haven't been spinning more as a result of all the offs I've already had. Anyway, through the Lesmos, fourth gear. One thing I do struggle with on a set of quarter is finding the limit. You can, when you overstep the limit on this sim, it's when you start spinning off into into the gravel traps and such. And me, fi me personally, finding that limit and being able to catch those slides is something I haven't quite mastered yet. Which is something I just need to do. I just need to get more time on this. I. Uh, I'm not an Assetto Corsa specialist. I've, I've done a lot of videos, but I haven't done a lot of sweating and uh, in-depth tuning of the setups and getting to the grips with the handling model. It has just been a lot of fun muckabouts. But eventually I will be good at this game. Hopefully, as we come up to the line, that is the end of this race. P11. I want to do one last thing. I, you know what? I feel like I... It's, uh, I want to end on a better note. What I want to do is I want to go to Spa, do one lap, and see how many positions we can make up. Because why the hell not? 26.5. I am a slow boy. For reference, the esports guys were doing uh, 19s in the race and in quali. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But uh, if you want to see more videos on this car at different tracks, feel free to let me know. And I can definitely do that. I've had a lot of fun driving this car. It's uh, it's a real handful. And I'd love to be able to get to know it a bit more. And be able to, to just drive a lot more competently. But uh, let's do one lap of Spa. Let's see if we can do a one take wonder. If you guys enjoy it, we'll do maybe another race here in this car. Off we go. Turn one. Let's not get too greedy. Give ourselves plenty of room to turn in. Jeez, that was uh, sketchy as always. On the power nice and early. Let's change camera angle, make sure no one is behind us. We are Gucci. So we go up our Rouge and Radeon. That is flat out. Wasn't expecting any less. Now we've got the golden run up the Camel Straight. And we are in the slipstream of absolutely everyone. Hello. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, trust me to stuff it up. Why do bad things happen to good people? Oh, well. P24, and we get to do that all over again. That slipstream, though, is insane. I definitely want to have a go at this again. Spa seems like a wonderful track. I think in general, the power tracks really lend itself well to this car because of the slipstreaming that goes on. Nice little shove wire that blew on. I'm not in last place anymore. Hooray for the non wooden spoon gang. Oh. Coming into Stavolo 1 and 2. How nice and Elliot was worried about the back end, like, kicking out there. It's not the most stable thing in the world. But here we go with the slipstream. It's like overtaking traffic on the highway as we go around the outside. at Blanchemont. Look at the overspeed. <laughs> wow. I think maybe we should have done the video here. That is absolutely incredible as we get spun out of the last corner. Guys. That has been this video for today. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more racing game content. This car is absolutely incredible. And I can't wait for you guys to see the V10R League on BT Sport and ESPN in the US. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys for a brand new video very soon.